Welcome back to Detention. Let's see what's behind the curtain. I need to give them something. Or, well, give myself something. A glass cup of nauseating color, overflowing with a stench of human corruption. Plates and cups clash against the walls as father's voice roared through the halls. After a series of curses seething, all that's left is mother's weeping. Our family was once sweet together, healthy and caring when we gathered. And now, every night a restless sleep, every morning hard to wake, so it goes on day by day, the anguish digs ever deep. I was shattered into countless pieces, mirroring the crumbling of a familiar world, in a state of ceaseless decay, plunging into a river of despair, floating in limbo for the rest of our days. when we meet, footsteps ever quick and slight, roaming through a neon forest, strolling past the dazzling lights. I've become a little lark, brushing past the pretty flowers, chasing all the playful butterflies. I glide merrily by your side. I've been an actor in our play, long before the curtain's risen, being held as ever comforting, longing for your love embracing. Listening to your many whispers, feeling each other's tranquil breathing. The white deer walked into my grasp. What a pleasant surprise. What a turn of fate. What a... I want to keep this moment in my palms for eternity. All of a sudden... We stopped meeting. You became distant bitterly, colder than the sun could melt, air around you freezing instantly, and my frozen body's beating heart, with each pulse tearing itself apart. Again I'm left in abject solitude, in a house that I call home, in a space that I call school, a walking corpse whose mind's without, a sense of loss that's drowned with doubt. Oh, I don't like this camera angle. Cheng Ming Hui, we need to talk about this. Miss Yun, it's not necessary to raise your voice like that. Why can't I? What were you thinking going after a child like that? Child? I was already studying abroad at her age. She's old enough to know what she wants. So what now? Will you lead her down this forbidden path? She only needs a push in the right direction, not for you to wrap your arms around her. This is our private matter, it's none of your business. How is it not? You're stuck in your little romance, did you forget about us? We were already in the same boat, don't you forget.
painful recollection. My soul is shattered into pieces when I cannot put myself back together and forget everything. I open my eyes and welcome a barren world. Who was that? Also, Ray is slightly transparent. I can see the chair behind them. They're a little bit ghostly. mind if I save? Our life would vanish, but not our guilt. I am you, yet you are not me. It's the sin that makes you linger in this realm. Memories like mirrors reflecting the true likeness of your soul. In a world full of pain and suffering. Fang Rei Shin, what do you fear the most? Losing myself? Believe that we are all born free eager to walk on your own path and afraid of losing yourself. You are me. Oh. I am them now. Interesting. So we, can we move between these two worlds? At will? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, so at the moment, Ray is one of the lingered. This time there's nothing behind the fan. There was the pendant, and then there was the dead rat. Down. Nope. The hell was that? No, I can't look at the fan as the other ray. Well, I feel like I should explore this place completely as ghost ray and then switch to the other one. I don't want to miss anything. Oh, can ghost ray not go through doors or open them? Well, no, I could open that door. I can't interact with that one, though. Yeah, I can't touch this one either. Oh. Blocked by an unknown force. I 
was a person that was walking away from the stage. The bonfire of hope is almost depleted, diminishing in the wind. Some of the book contents might conflict with your everyday thoughts. This material will help you engage in reflective and independent thinking. Well, let's call it a day. Oh, this is the book club. I do want to remind you all again to never mention the book club to anyone else. For that might put yourself and others in great danger. And Wei, I'd like to ask you a favor. Uh, yes, Miss Yin? Is it about the new books? I've already given the list to Mr. Chang. He said the shipping company won't help us anymore, but he'll figure something out. The government is enforcing restrictions on all imports. Soon the book club might come to an end. Miss Yin, why are things like this? I'm sorry, Wei. There's nothing I can do either. Oh, uh, just one more thing before you go. Mr. Chang never brought us any of those books in the first place, right? <laughs> I know I can always count on you. Blacklisted. Uh, clipping return home for burial. Half a century in exile, blacklisted to return home for burial. During the period of martial law, Miss Yin Sui Han was a wanted political fugitive. She was lucky to evade arrest, and left the country only to be blacklisted. She traveled the world fighting for human rights and freedom of expression, but unfortunately died of lung cancer at the age of 50. Her last wish was to be able to return to her hometown. Now this wish can be achieved with the lifting of martial law. Ghost me? The way forward is the path to your past. However, the road ahead has crumbled. Lead me anywhere and I will follow you like a shadow. Door handle is broken. I can't get in. So wait, the lead me anywhere, I will follow like a shadow. What exactly does that mean? I mean, they don't seem to be following me. Hmm. It's crumbled, which would be this, right? I mean, this is crumbled. Good. just look at them in there. Oh. You'll follow like a shadow. I thought it was the other one speaking. So they're like the corporeal version of me will follow. I thought it was the ghost version that said they would follow. Okay. Uh, can I open it from the outside or something? No. The sliding door is wrapped in barbed wire. I don't 
have any inventory items. So I think I need to get them through the door to continue on, right? But I guess I just don't have what I need to do that yet. Sliding door is wrapped in barbed wire. Who can be calling at a time like this? <laughs> I hear the very faint noise of a phone. The nice thing is, I can't hold my breath, and I'm also a ghost, so I don't think I need to worry about other ghosts. So, where have I been and where have I not been? I don't know, everything just keeps changing how it looks, so it's really hard to figure out have I been here or have I been here but it's changed? Sliding doors wrapped in barbed wire. Hmm. I guess I gotta go back to the other one. The other version of me. Hello, me? Yeah, so if it follows me and it can walk all the way across the room, then I can get it across the broken gap in the floor. But to go back into the body, I need to be able to open the door. Oh, wait a minute. I think I got it. Yeah. All right, so I need to get the, the corporeal form of me to the other side, right? And now it is to the other side. But I can't open this door, so I can't switch into the body. Now, I could go back this way and get in through the, the other door, but it follows me, of course. But it only follows me when I'm near. So I think what I need to do is get it on this side, like that, and then go down the stairs, go to the other side, up the stairs, and then come in through the door without it, you know, seeing me, being near me, and moving with me. Let's see if my hunch was right. Mm-hmm. Nice. Remember when you enrolled, so full of passion, participating in every school activity, showing off your academic abilities, grabbing the attention of your peers and teachers. Then things took a turn for the worse at home. All the attention quickly turned into unwanted scrutiny. So you chose... to escape. The world is immeasurably vast. There's always a place to hide. You are me. There we go. Now the door is open. This place is completely lifeless. Even ideas are buried here. Oh, they're burning the books from the book club. Remember to thoroughly destroy each book and add the spirit money to throw them off. There can't be any intact book pages or else this would be for naught. Hey. Way. You're closer with Miss Yin. I heard that she had to flee the country overnight. Is that true? I'm not sure. She never said anything about leaving. Unlike Miss Yin, we don't have the connections to guide us to safety. Aren't you afraid? Well, actually, what bothers me the most is... Do you know how the reading list got leaked out? Stop asking questions. I'm as clueless as you. Hurry up and finish this. We don't want to get caught. A written verdict from court. 
Chang Ming Hui, district level educator, is found guilty with students Wei and others of collusion with communist forces. Chang Ming Hui is to be put to death after the court's ruling. Wei Chung Ting pleads guilty to affiliation with communist forces, reading of prohibited texts with rebellious and corrupt thoughts, will be sentenced to 15 years jail time. Jesus. So Cheng was the one that was actually procuring the books. And they were put to death. Or at least sentenced to death, whether that was actually carried out. Not totally sure. Most likely, though, they probably were. So is that Chang that I'm seeing? Door is barred by a broom. There's a note on top of it. Snitcher. Remove the broom. I like that it just floated up. Excerpt. That time in fear, forcing herself to breed hatred. Who knew that she would take that leap and leave this world behind? Nary last word. Because of fear? Remorse? The reason remains undecided. I was left with a blur of confused thoughts spiraling through my mind. When I saw the sunlight again, things had changed drastically. My loved ones and teacher went to a higher place. She was buried in an unmarked grave, leaving me a decrepit man. I wonder if this is from Wei? When I saw the sunlight again, things had changed drastically, because Wei was sentenced to 15 years. It sounds like that's what this is. They got out 15 years or so later. Teacher and loved ones dead. She was buried in an unmarked grave. Well, that couldn't have been Miss Yin, right? Because they fled the country, so that must have been Ray. Take that leap and leave this world behind. So she killed herself. I wonder if she did it by jumping off the roof, because we saw of like a, a ghostly image of ourselves jumping off the roof a while ago. Safety. Sounds really nice. You can hear the frogs outside. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end this episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.